You are now ready for step three, sample collection. You will swab the glottis, which can be found at the base of the tongue, and the palatine cleft on the roof of the mouth. Put on gloves and other personal protective equipment. Take five fresh mortalities collected from one house and lay them on the clean workspace. Each dead chicken should be on its side, with the head toward the rear of the pickup. Insert a scissors into the mouth at the angle of the beak and cut the mouth open. Then, using your thumb, stretch out and lengthen the cut. This allows very good exposure of the glottis and the palatine cleft. Repeat the process on the rest of the chickens. Make a cut at the corner of the mouth and then push your thumb down and stretch out the cut. The chickens are now ready to be swabbed. Loosen the cap on the BHI tube for the house you are collecting samples from. Here we are sampling house number one. With your left hand, grasp the comb and the wattles and pull them together behind the head so that the glottis and palatine cleft can be easily observed. Swab both the glottis and palatine cleft, picking up as much mucus as possible. Place the swab in the BHI broth and swirl vigorously. As you remove the swab from the tube, squeeze out as much fluid from the swab as possible. Replace the lid on the broth tube. Discard the used swab into the trash bag on the right. Discard the chicken into the trash bag on the left. Repeat the process with the second chicken. Use your left hand to pull the comb and the wattles together behind the head, exposing the glottis and the palatine cleft. Swab the glottis and palatine cleft and place the swab in the same BHI broth tube, the tube for house number one. Swirl vigorously and squeeze out as much liquid from the swab as possible. Replace the lid. Discard the swab into the trash bag on the right and discard the chicken into the trash bag on the left. When all five chickens are done, and the swabs have been swirled in the BHI broth tube for house number one, tighten the cap and put the tube in the second row of the cardboard tube holder, indicating it is finished. Place your dirty scissors in a bag and discard the plastic bag covering the work area into the trash bag on the right. You will also discard your gloves. This process is repeated for all houses. That is, at each house, set up a clean work area using a clean plastic trash bag to cover the tailgate, put on a clean pair of gloves, use a clean pair of scissors, swab five fresh mortalities from the house, swirl and squeeze out all five swabs into one BHI broth tube.